You absolutely loved the vampy look I did recently. I'm gonna show you how easy it is to create a vampy but wearable look that you can wear for any occasion. By the way, we're wearing my husband's hoodie because mija esta frío. It is cold, cold, cold outside. I'm gonna start off with Smash Boxes Photo Finish Correct Anti-Redness Primer. Your girl's got some discoloration, some hormonal stuff going on. This one's a green one. You see these like weird blue-ish dark spots under the eye? I'm gonna apply the smallest amount of this under there also because for this kind of look, I want maximum brightness under the eye. And because it's green, it's going to help kind of counter the redness on the skin. If you have purple or blue-ish under eyes, you're gonna wanna go with a peachy salmon shade. Kitoki Arda Ichoki. Let's use our Rimmel for today. I want some good coverage. I don't want it to feel like heavy, but I wanna look glam. So this is gonna be like everyday glam. Ish. If you're interested in the shades and the products that I am using, I know I typically don't like do all the zooming in and stuff, then I don't worry. I'm gonna make sure they're in the description box with the shade name and everything for you, just in case we are around the same skin tone, complexion. Look at that coverage. Would you believe this foundation was less than five freaking doll hairs at five below? I can even apply some of that under the eye. I don't recommend it for anyone who has a lot going on under the eye. If you experience a lot of creasing under the eye, you wanna limit the amount of product that you apply under the eye for sure, because if anything, that could always make it worse. Oh, oh, I'm feeling it today. Like I'm feeling, feeling good, feeling really good. What do I wanna use for concealer? I want good coverage and I wanna make sure that baby is not gonna go anywhere and I have so many options. I think I'm gonna go in with my Ofra in medium golden. Def oh my God, I need to get a new one. Wait, do I have any? Hold on. Oh, I have backups, it's not a problem. Do I have extras? Yes. There's still some in here. Look. I'm gonna have to go in my bin and whip out a new one. I'm going to tap that baby in. I wanna make sure I focus a lot of the product in the inner corner. I want it to be nice and bright. Whatever's left on my sponge, I will tap on the T-zone area. And I'm gonna set that really quickly with my Huda Beauty. If you watched the other video, you already know this is like my go-to lady. Is it gonna be the only powder I will brag over? No, every time there's a new powder that's really, really good and I'm obsessed with, I feel you guys in on that. Oh, no worries, I'll update you on what's good and what isn't as it's coming out. Okie dokie, R, T, Choky, I'm debating. Do I really wanna like wow the brows or are we looking at keeping them simple for today? I don't know. I might just leave them for last and see what happens. I'm gonna use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Just gonna add a little bit of depth and dimension. And yes, this brush is freaking dirty, dude. I need to wash it for sure. I don't know when that's gonna be because I'm going to Miami for the weekend. There's an event, so I'm going. And I think Ty quit on me. Like I used to pay her to wash my brushes on her downtime. Cause you know, it's like a little bit of an allowance. You're helping me out and you're making some money. She loves shopping and buying what she wants. So why not? Pero I think she's over it. I think she's just like, look, you can wash your own damn brushes. You have a lot of them. So I don't know quite yet when I'm gonna be able to wash my brushes, but I need to, cause this one is already yucky. It's been like a week and a half. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this over here. It is the On The Glow Bronze Tinted Moisture Stick by Pixi. This one is in the shades Warm Glow. Technically, it's supposed to be kind of like a bronzy something, but for my complexion, it's more of a blush with highlight. We're just gonna kind of like, I shouldn't have done that. Que yo estoy haciendo. It's fine, I'll fix it. What I should have done was go in with a brush or my sponge instead with no additional product. I'll make sure that I blend out those edges. This is the kind of look that I would create most of the time for work when I didn't have time to like play around with makeup first thing in the morning and get all glam because it was like a lot. The face and the base was always very simple. You know, come to think of it, the eye was also pretty simple considering, but it's so wearable. I'm gonna use a Dominique Cosmetics that a lot of people got in Ipsy because that just makes more sense. However, you could use pretty much any palette you have that has browns or black in it. I was going to use my eyeshadow palette with Ofra. We've used that one recently in another video, so it's okay. I'm gonna go ahead and skip on using my palette today. I know for a fact that a lot of you guys got this palette. Radha, she's so freaking pretty. So 
we are going to grab just a few brushes because you don't really need many for this. I am going to dip in to Compassion for the crease. You guys are gonna be like, that is so freaking simple. I know. We are going to apply Compassion on the crease. You don't need to be too precise, too specific. Nana, you just kind of like, mira, just apply her, blow it out. And I think this is why it was like very go-to often times for me for when I worked at the office. Cause you don't have to put too much effort into creating the look, but it's gonna look the total opposite. It's gonna look like, damn, she took a good minute to get herself together this morning. I'll dip into positively. And that one we will focus, wow, that's pigmented. So let's go back and forth here. I'm only dipping into positively once cause that's more than enough for both eyes. Same thing, we can go ahead and blend that into the inner lid below that onto that crease because you don't want too much depth here. What you want is the brightness on the inner corners and most of the lid. Boom. With another fluffy brush, we will dip into deeper shades. So I'm going to mix True Self and Fearless together. So if you don't got this palette, it's fine. You can always use my palette if you have it because we have truffle and triple black. So we have shades very similar to this. And the Buttercup shade is very similar to Positively also. It's just a little more on the yellow side. Kind of similar color story in the sense when it comes to like the mattes, but not so much. Tap that out here. Tap that on the opposite side, and then we'll blend in. You do not want to see a lot of that black. You just want to add some more depth out here. Don't over blend with this brush because this is the one that has the black in it. We'll go back to the same brush we initially used to warm up that crease. To diffuse. That way it's nice and feathered and it looks like there's a dusting of color. We are exactly where we need to be and I'm living for it. Now I need you guys to grab an eyeliner. Any eyeliner is gonna work. I The first one I grabbed out of my drawer is the Smashbox Always Sharp Liner. I have to, but the packaging on this I don't necessarily love because you have to kind of like press it down. It's kind of annoying. We are gonna do the trick I showed you guys recently. You're gonna line the outer corner with the black liner. And with an angled liner brush, you're gonna pull that out to extend your lash line and see how it kind of looks like you have a wing. So if you're not amazing at wings, this is like a baby one. It's like a starter 101. If you can just extend your lash line at the bottom and this is what you're comfortable with, then cool beans, leave it alone. You can definitely pull it out even more if you wanted to. It's all about getting comfortable with the idea of a wing. And then we'll do the same. Now you want it to angle up though. Like you don't want to do it out like in a straight line out like this. You kind of want to angle it up. So looking at both sides, they're looking, listen, they're never going to be 100% twins, but if you could fake the funk, no one will ever notice. So you're good there. Now I will grab another angled brush. I'm going to use the Fix Line Liner in Black by Ofra. This is multitaskable. You can use this for your brows to do liner, to line your lips, to highlight, to actually do accent and graphic lines on the eyes. It works. This is a Timu brush. I'll try to find it and link it below if I if they still have it available, I'm not sure. Here is where the wing gets to wing it. With this brush, I'm gonna get to that edge. See how I'm meeting the edge right there? I'm gonna pull the liner in and then proceed to fill this baby in. It's really creamy, so it gives you a chance to play with the product prior to it fully drying down. And it'll be nice and matte, which I love. And then this brush, the tip of it is so itty bitty it allows me to get super close to my lash line on the inner corner because I don't want the wing to be like super thick in the front. It's just not for me. Then you can grab a liner pen. I prefer brush tip. Ofra's Verified is freaking fantastic. I have the Benefit. That's also really good. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. Ofra's is also nice and matte black. I like these uh, brush tip ones because it allows you to be really precise because it's so thin and it's not gonna skip. This is where you wanna sharpen the outer edges to make it look super crisp. You can definitely go in with a concealer, but a concealer can also shift the way the edge of the liner is going to look, especially on the tip. So I'm gonna go in with this first if I can avoid the concealer. On that outer edge, just to make it look super deep black, 
and crisp. See, nice and clean. I wanna keep the eyes simple, so I don't wanna over dramatize the eyeshadow. The wing is the statement piece on the eye. I'm gonna go in with the Essence. I love Extreme, um, or I Heart Extreme mascara because it's that good. This one, I will just kind of apply a small amount on my bottom lashes, and then I, this here, I really love by Essence. This will create drama on your own lashes, so if you're someone that has really short or fine lashes and you're like, no, I don't wanna wear falsies every day, this one is a really good one. And this applicator is freaking fantastic. I am gonna apply falsies on top of it, but I've gotta give credit where credit is due and this mascara is really good. We are coming in hot with my Timu lashes. You guys already know. Look how fluffy and stunning these are. I think, I think you guys see why I'm so obsessed with them. Being realistic, when I worked at the office, I could not do lashes every single day because it really depended on, you know, what time I woke up, if I got delayed, you know, I had tie and stuff. So flying lashes really was going to depend on a series of factors. However, the look doesn't require lashes. It does take it somewhere else. Like see how, right? but you don't really need it. Do you see how like simple the eye was, but how pretty? It's just pretty. I gotta do the brows. And we're not gonna over sculpt them or anything, so I'll use the Precisely My Brow Wax by Benefit because I showed you guys recently how easy it is to fill certain areas in, but they don't have to be perfect, like I said. These are gonna be like everyday brows. I just really wanna fill in, see like these areas that have no pelitos, and I wanna comb through. See these areas here that are lacking hair. I can just add some product and we can move on, girl. Even though we're keeping the brow a little on the simple side, we do have to kind of clean her up. You see how this baby leaks? It's so sad but this foundation is freaking fantastic so I suck it up anyway so my shade is a W 6.5 it is a spot on shade so I go in with another Timu brush right pound pound clean those edges and I promise you it looks like I took forever to do my brows when I did it <laughs> Now granted, back then when I worked at the office, these product were not on the market. So, you know, I had to get creative and use concealers, other brushes, other brow products, but the process was basically still the same. And I'm gonna comb right through that because I don't want it to look like it's glued on there. So you always wanna comb through the brow. Mm, the statement is not just the, the, the liner, it's gonna be the lip. I have two shades here from Urban Decay that I haven't tried before, but I feel like I should go brown. This one is Toy With Me, and then this one here is Kissing Frenzy. Whichever one's the darkest is what we're gonna go with. And you can't always judge a book by its cover, because there's been shades that I thought were gonna be super dark and they were not. So we're gonna shake them both. Tricky, 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 tricky. And this formula is amazing. It'll last pretty much forever on your lips. And they're not uncomfortable. It doesn't fade ugly. Here we have a, ooh. Okay, I kind of want this one. And then, oh no, see? The shade Toy With Me, based on the packaging, you would think it's really like a dark, right? It's a very wearable shade, beautiful shade, but I need to go dark. So I'm gonna go with Kissing Frenzy. I really want that opacity on the center. I'll go in with Ofra's chestnut around the edges to make it even darker. Now girl, once this baby dries down, you don't have to worry about it getting on your teeth, you know? Here we have some vampy glam and it was so easy. I know this is kind of different because whenever I do like reds or bold colors, you guys are like, wait, what? I typically go for my nudes and my pinks and my mauvies and my dusty roses, but those are just so everyday wearable. But you know what? This is something that I would always do. So I figured, let me go ahead and show you how easy it is. I know you guys love color, but do you guys love bold makeup looks too? Let me know in the comments. It is time we say hello and thank you to our channel members, the G Squad. These wonderful, amazing people have joined channel memberships and are supporting the channel at a higher level. In turn, they have on Unlocked exclusive perks like a private community page. YouTube provides them with their very own badge, letting everyone know who is a channel member and are highlighting every single one of their comments under my videos. There are additional perks like additional giveaways, polls, questions, little chats here and there, which I think is really awesome. So if you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you really need to do is hit the join button below any of my videos and you are good to go. Now, YouTube is gonna go ahead and recommend your next video based on your watch history, but I'll also recommend another video filled with beauty content I think you're gonna enjoy so I hope you consider checking it out and I will see you on the next